I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. Okay. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? All right. Okay. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? I don't. We don't get television, so I don't watch TV, which is probably why I can actually do things in my life because I don't spend a lot of time watching TV. <laughs> right. That's fine. Number two, what are some food blogs or food websites we have to know about? Oh, well, I I would say Smitten Kitchen certainly is one of them. Uh, Leet's Culinaria, David Leet's blog uh, is fantastic. Simply Recipes by Elise Bauer and, and crew. Um, that's that is one of my go-tos. When I have any question about a recipe that I just need to know off the top of my head, I'll search her blog first. And then um, David Leibovitz, because he's, he's awesome and he's hilarious at the same time. Perfect. Number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube that make you happy? Uh, I don't do Pinterest just because it's a matter of time management. I just cannot get into Pinterest. Um, and on Instagram, I have to say one of my favorite people to follow is food pornographer, my friend Kelly Klein. She's a food photographer and food stylist in the Pacific Northwest. And everything she posts is absolutely stunning and creative and beautiful. And it just makes you want to eat and to cook and just uh, get in there and experiment. Great. Number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? Oh... That is a good question. Um, oh, I'm really bad at this. I don't, uh, I don't actually know what kind of odd things I have. I guess the the only one is the dowel that I use for rolling dumplings. Uh, most of the most of the rolling pins you find in in stores are uh, the French style, like the tapered ones, or they have like the handles on them. But the simple Chinese dowel is just a straight cylinder. And that's what I use for uh, rolling dumpling skins, and it, it works best for me. Perfect. Number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. Cilantro. Cilantro. When I was little, my parents put it in everything, and I was like, <laughs> why? You're ruining this dish. And I just, you know, they put it in the soup, and I'm like, I can't eat the soup now or, or whatever. And now I love it. I put it in guacamole. I put it in my pho. I put it in, you know, Chinese dishes. It's, it's great. Number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Um, I would have to say the one that I reference the most is probably um, The Baking Bible by uh, Rose Levy Berenbaum. And uh, there's this old Chinese cookbook that my mom's, I think her, her it was like a, a godmother put together in the 1960s or something. It's this is tiny little thing and it's not, I don't think it's widely published, but it, um, we have a copy of it. And it's just these traditional Chinese recipes, like home style Chinese recipes. And I've blogged a few of them, but uh, I, I go to that one quite often. <laughs> yeah. Great. Number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Okay. I thought about this and I was like, I don't think there are any songs or albums that make me want to cook, but when I cook, I like to listen to a lot of very, you know, I like to have music on. Um, the White Stripes are one of my <laughs> favorite bands, and so um, any of their albums or anything by Jack White uh, gets me gets me pretty pumped and happy in the kitchen. Fantastic. Well, congratulations, Jen. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>